before you get ready to watch this video, I'd just like to share some quick information. We are sponsored by MetaMats and they provide very, very high quality mats that are completely customizable up to your personal preference. And we would like to say thank you so much for watching this video. We do do some extremely innovative stuff at this channel and I would definitely like for you to check out our future content. We just do some crazy stuff up here. I appreciate you guys so much for showing love to our team and enjoy this video. And I'm back at it with my Light Swarns, Twilight Swarns deck profile. I will be go, uh, I'll be deck profiling my Light Swarns deck. Uh, I really think this deck has a lot of potential. I really think that the Light Swarns just overall have a lot of potential. I really think that they were gonna do really good. They probably won't be a tier one deck, but they'll be giving it hell to other decks. Um, but, you know, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Uh, for the first three cards that I have, guys, I have uh, two Judgments, two, two JD Monsters, and I have one Punishment Dragon. Um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know from the beginning, guys, this deck is incomplete. I have a couple of missing cards. Uh, I have one more Punishment Dragon that I really want to add into this deck, and that would really make this deck a lot better than what I really think that it is right now. Uh, don't get me wrong, I really, I, I'm giving it hell right now with this deck. Uh, I got inaugurated with this deck into the team, guys, but I did make a lot of changes to it. I know you guys were telling me that the deck uh, was bricking, that the deck wasn't as good as, uh, as it should be. So I went to go ahead and fix it. I've been helping fix it for... Uh, for the, uh, after the after the inauguration and we made it a lot better so this is what we got like I said the two JDs and the one punishment uh, I'm missing the one more punishment but don't even worry about it guys I will get it later and once I have it and I have the other cards that I'm missing as well I will make a 100% uh, update to the game uh, I also have the two wolf guys uh, I think wolf is amazing uh, wolf is one of the best cards in the whole game you don't want to draw it at all, ever, ever, ever. But you do want to have that card uh, getting milled. Reasons why is just if it's milled by any other way or any way at all, it's just special from the grave. And it's just like milled to special. Now he's on the field. Uh, he's busted as fuck. Honestly, guys, he's just busted. Uh, after that, guys, we have the three Ravens. There's, you know, there's really nothing that I can say about it. It's just three Ravens. You, you can't really mess with Raiden, guys. Uh, Raiden is kind of mandatory in the deck. He's He's not just a tuner, but you know he's also really good with the milling or whatever. Um, and then you also have your three Luminous, your regular Light Sworn Luminous. She is amazing, guys. You pitch one card, you special another card from your grave. It's amazing, guys. There's nothing to it. Uh, but that's it for all of my three ofs, guys. Uh, these are the three ofs that I find that are probably the best for the deck. Uh, maybe other people find other cards to be even better for the deck at three. But this is what I believe that it's better at three. Uh, personal preferences, guys, is very important. Your personal opinion is always going to be very important as well. But those are my three ups. Uh, I also play two, uh, two Gara. A lot of people don't play him at all or just play him at one. I, I want to I be able to get him as much as I can. So I play him at two. Uh, he is busted. He's going to help you draw. and It's amazing, guys. You, you want to draw. We all know you want to draw and you want to mill. So... Drawing and milling is what this deck is all about. Uh, after that, you get Phyllis. Don't play her at two, guys. Personal opinion, I, I, I would not ever play her at two. I would never. Uh, because she's stupid, man. Honestly, like I've, I've hit both of my Phyllises with uh, the grasses look screener. And you can't do it. You can't do shit, man. Honestly. Uh, the only way to actually activate her effect is that if she's milled by another monster effect. So like either by your Minerva or like uh, your um, or by your um, Raiden, but basically besides that, that's all you can really do with her. Just that's it. And then guys, uh, after Phyllis, I play one Lila, normal Light Sworn, and then I play one Minerva, uh, the Mini Minerva, the little girl Minerva. I don't know what you want to call her guys, but just Minerva. I don't like saying her whole name out loud. I think it's kind of weird just saying the light swarm of whatever the hell. But uh, that's that's my Minerva, Mini Minerva. Sometimes you just really need different uh, light swarm monsters in the deck, so that's why that's why I play her, because you just need more light swarm monsters. That's it for all of my regular light swarm monsters, guys. Like I said, I do play uh, Twilight monsters. So here you go, guys. You got... Uh, you got your uh, Lumina, the Twilight Monster. I only have one Lumina, 
the other the other Lumina that I have going on, guys, is uh, it's my proxy. But but once I get once I get my uh, once I get my real one, I'll be able to play, guys. I proxy this card for today, just for I can go ahead and show you guys that uh, you're gonna need two of it. I couldn't proxy a punishment. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, and then I got two Lilas. Uh, I think that's it for the Twilights that you should actually want to be playing. I might bump it later up, later on, depending on uh, depending on what I want to play and how I want to play once I actually get my punishment, uh, my Punisher Dragon. But uh, this is all that I played so far, and uh, I really find these to be the best. Honestly, uh, Lila the Twilight is a lot better than Lila the Light Sworn, but. That's just me, you know. You might like Lila the Light Sworn a lot better, but that's you, man. You know. Uh, continuing with the other monsters, I have uh, three Fairy Tale Snows guys, but I really only have one because you know I play two comments. <laughs> um, I'll be at I'll be at DNA on Monday, guys. So if any of you guys have a um, higher high, higher rarity of uh, Fairy Tales, please look it up. I'm really trying to get some new ones. Um, it's it's a disgrace to play comments. Just kidding, guys. It's really not. But uh, I also got the three Gofus, guys. Gofu is the card for the meta, guys. The card for any deck that wants to play Lynx. Uh, I really think it's one of the best cards to play. I really think that it's amazing because of the sheer fact that you can just uh, activate its effects as special. Have two tokens, and once you special them, you can get rid of those two tokens for any other Link monster you want to get. Uh, whatever the heck you want to get, honestly. You can just go into anything. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, three Gofus, and then I play the Pred, uh, the Predator Plant uh, engine. I got three Scorpios, guys. Scorpios are amazing, guys. Uh, I really hate whenever I would act, uh, start off a game with uh, maybe two Scorpios in my hand. I hate it. So you know, it's just something that you got to deal with. But it sometimes will benefit you because if you have one in your hand. And you just normal summon it, pitch, pitch that one other one you have in your hand to special out your Cobras. Your Cobras are amazing, guys. I played Cobras at two. You can only activate this effect once, but I played at two because uh, this deck, all it does is mill. And sometimes you're going to need certain cards at one, but you don't want to mill them, so you want them in the deck. So this is the reason why I played Cobra at two, because I've had, to, I've had, I've had it like in the inauguration where I'll start off my game. Uh, with both of them in my hand and that was before I played two Cobras so I would have to like normal summon and then I couldn't really do anything else with this effect so fuck <laughs> but uh, yeah guys uh, that's the reason why I play two Cobras you might not want to play two Cobras or you might want to so it's up to you guys honestly and then that's what I play for these monsters guys uh, the next monsters that I play guys they're uh, they're mainly for uh, for the brilliant package uh, I really think these monsters next uh, are, are very, very amazing, guys. You play your Trick Clown, there's really nothing to it. You play your 1,000 Blades, that's my proxy, don't judge. And then I play one Garnet and one, uh, one of the, whatever this one is called, the yellow one. Uh, I really like them. Uh, I have them both because they're level fours and... You know, everybody likes Garnet a lot better, and Garnet's a lot more expensive because he's a 1900 attack, and then you're actually able to attack with him if you can't really do anything, or in the case you draw him. So, like I said, guys, the Twilights, they they mill, they mill, they mill. That's all they freaking do, and that's all they want to do. So you play one Garnet, and then if you have another one, you play two Garnets. But I didn't, so I had another different Gemini monster. So that's what I played. Uh, and then the next two cards, guys. They're just awesome to mill. You just want to mill, honestly. Mill and draw, that's all this deck is about. And then I play the turtle, the electric turtle, guys. This electromagnetic turtle is amazing, guys. Honestly, you want to mill it, and whenever you're going to get attacked and you know you don't want that monster destroyed, you just banish it. That's it. Honestly, there's sometimes monsters that you do want to get destroyed and you don't want them on your field. Or, you know, it's, it's up to you if you do want to do it or not. But you, you will have that in your grave. And then Eclipse Wyvern, guys. Eclipse Wyvern is amazing. Uh, you want to have it mill at all times. I only play them at one. I wouldn't play them any, any higher. Uh, right now, I wouldn't play them any higher. But one is amazing because you just have them, you just mill them, and then you can select either your JD or your punish or your Punisher, Punishment Dragon. Uh, I can't tell you which one to choose. 
Obviously, it's all to personal preference and to see, and depends on how your game is going. If you have more lights, more monsters banished, then you would all honestly you would go for punishment. And if you have more mo lights, more monsters in your graveyard, you would definitely go for judgment. Uh, if you want to clear the board, you will go for judgment. If you want to recycle everything, you go for punishment. It's up to you, honestly. I can't tell you go for one, go for the other all the time because if one game you're gonna need to destroy the whole field, or in one game you're gonna need to just recycle. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So the next thing that we're gonna be going uh, that we're gonna be going over will be the spells. I play nothing but spells and monsters. I don't play any traps. So if you guys are here to see if I have any traps, sorry guys, I don't play any traps. Um, I don't think I would trade anything off for any traps. But here you go, guys. I have three solar recharge. Solar recharge is, is awesome, honestly. Um, having your Twilight Swarms, a lot of people don't know this, but you can actually activate your Twilight Swarms uh, with some of these spell cards. And it's freaking busted. You can just pitch a Twilight Swarm and then just draw two cards and then mill two more cards. That's freaking awesome. Uh, after that, you play one charge of light brigade only. I'm just messing with you guys. You play three, but since I have two commons, I'm really looking for that one extra one, guys. I'm looking for a gold rare, so if you guys have any, any gold rares like this one, guys, let me know. I'll be at DNA on Monday, so uh, just let me know, guys. Um, grass looks greener. The grass looks greener, man. That's what it is, man. It's just, it's just the grass looks greener. Honestly, you can't say anything about it. Just try to say something about it, guys. You can't say shit. Honestly, guys, I really wish the grass looks greener went up to three again. It would help a lot of decks. And I really like how this meta right now is not really focused around just one whole deck itself. I really like that, the, that it, there's like a lot of decks that are coming up. And I like that a lot of decks are honestly going to like a lot of the, like championships and like tournaments and stuff like that. You got the spirals coming up. You got the Paleozoics back at it again. You got the freaking Pendulum Magicians at it. It's amazing, dude. Honestly, I love times like this when you, you can just play anything you want. And um, Pot of Desires will be the next card, guys. Pot of Desires is amazing, guys. Don't play it at three. Don't play it at three. Uh, I like it at two, honestly. Um, if I had three, I wouldn't play it at three. So <laughs> just letting you know, guys, don't play it at three. Uh, I think it's an awesome card. People are really sleeping on it. People are not wanting to play it or people are really doubting that it will be good. It's, it's amazing, guys. Try it out, man. Honestly, buy the card. It's no more than like 2 or $3. Buy it, use it, and play with it. Trust me, guys. You will like it, and you can spare 2 to $3 per, per print. So it's probably about $4 you're spending if you just buy the two. Uh, after that, guys, you got the Brilliant Fusion. Brilliant Fusions are amazing, guys. Being able to use your Seraphonite. Everybody knows the Seraphonite. Seraphonite is gay as fuck, man. <laughs> Uh, so after night is awesome for the sheer fact that uh, you're going to be able to normal summon again and if you have Seraphonite on the field, you can honestly tribute that in one earth, one more earth, uh, earth monster for your, for your freaking Mrs. Radiant. Who doesn't play Mrs. Radiant? Exactly. Everybody plays Mrs. Radiant, you guys. Uh, so Brilliant Fusion is kind of like, not mandatory, but it's kind of like more just, it has to be there. Uh, Lord of Darkness, I too. That's it, man. Lord of Darkness. It's a Lord of Darkness, guys. I don't really have to go into detail. I really want to get some more Dark Monsters on my deck. So once I get more Dark Monsters on my deck, it would be a lot, it would be a lot more clutch. But I really like the matter of fact that I, if I activate it and I don't draw a Dark Monster to banish, I can still just send everything to my graveyard. Shit, man. Honestly, <laughs> it's awesome because sometimes I'll have like a Fairy Tail on my on my on my hand and I don't want to normal summon it. Or like I'll have other monsters that I don't want in my hand and I don't want to use them, I don't want to normal summon them, so I really want them in the grave just for either fairy, uh, fairy food or that's it, man, just for fairy tales, no food, man. That, that's, the, that's the one thing I can honestly think about, just food. The left arm offering, guys. Uh, besides the matter of fact that you'll be banishing the cards, which is not that bad, you're getting another spell card from your from your deck, which is you know going to be amazing. I had Ivan try to make fun of me the other day, and uh, <laughs> we were talking about like, Cards that sh you should use left arm offering on, which honestly I think would be brilliant fusion or the grass screener. Uh, Pot of desires maybe, but brilliant fusion and the grass screener are probably the two cards that you want to go into as, mo as much as you can. Uh, he was telling me you should go into Rota. <laughs> Yo man, I love those gold Rota. Uh, Rota. 
Uh, I really like all the platinum cards. I really like all these gold cards. So if you guys have any that you don't want, guys, honestly, like I said, I'll be at DNA on Monday, guys. Hook it up, hook it up, guys. I have this one, just one lonely Rota and a, on a gold rare. Uh, I have two platinums, so I'm honestly trying to see if I can get you know some more golds and some more platinums because they're they're amazing guys. Uh, you got that one foolish burial. Uh, homie Ivan said he had a platinum one for me, so hopefully he come through with that. Foolish burial is amazing guys. Uh, you just normally would activate it and shit. Honestly, me, I would either send fairy tale or I would send a wolf, but. I would probably just send fairy tale, depending on what I have in my graveyard. But personal preference, guys. And then uh, so uh, soul charge, soul charge is awesome. That's it. Soul charge is awesome, guys. You don't understand how many how many times soul charge has just won games for people. It's it's broken. It's, it's busted. Call it whatever you want. I had a friend who would every time he would see something cool, something really cool, something really really cool, like he he would be weird. He would just like. Put ranks onto things and he'd be like man that's broken man that's busted and i was just like okay dude, yeah but yeah um so i guess this is one of those times where you would say this is card this card is busted uh next card you would go into your omega omega is the one card that you play as a, as a as a synchro card and your rose your black rose dragon uh there's nothing to it it's just black rose and it's omega that's it there's just two cards um I play two Minervas. If I had three, I would play three. So if you guys have a third one, hook it up. Uh, I really want a, a, a third Minerva, guys. Minerva is gay as hell. And everybody knows that she's just amazing. Uh, after that, guys, I play the one uh, Bushin Tai Tsukiyomi, guys. This, oh, this is a sexy ass print. This ultra rare, I think that's what it's called. Uh, if I'm wrong, just correct me, guys. I really want to learn what this, the, this rarity is. But I believe uh, Ivan told me it was an ultra rare. This is just, it's, it's amazing. Um, oh, by the way, reasons why I play this card is just, you can just pitch your cards to the grave and draw more cards. So, who doesn't fucking want to do that? <laughs> you play the Utopia package, guys. Half of your deck, if not all of your deck, is a rank four. So you would go into your Utopia and then just rank over and rank over. That's it, guys. It's freaking amazing. It's busted, man, like I said. Uh, you got your Phantom Knight. Uh, break sword and then you got your MX Savior guys. Break sword is awesome. It's awesome. Honestly, and then your MX Savior is amazing too. MX Savior is just so good because uh, you would use your uh, your Predator plants. I have a Predator plants on this side. You would use your Predator plant monsters guys. So you 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 use your uh, Scorpio and your Cobra, you overlay with them. You put your invoker, you detach one and that's when you bring out your thousand blades guys bringing out thousand blades um, you can go ahead and uh, either link for two link for three whatever you want to do guys just think about whatever you want to do before you actually do it uh, placement is very important so you make sure you pay a lot of attention to your placement as well but this is so far what I have for my monsters guys um, I have uh, other monsters right now that I'll be showing you guys but uh, oh Omega yeah I don't know the Omega, I'll probably play another Omega. Omega. Omega's awesome. Uh, Link Monsters, guys. I was playing more Link Monsters, but realizing that uh, how I play and how I want to play this deck has just made me uh, made me look into what I want to play. Uh, but testing, I think that uh, Link Spider is probably the best choice for me. Uh, the one Mrs. Radiant and the one Deco Talker. Normally what I do is that I go Gofu to the two spiders, to the one radiant, and then I'll have, I have one more monster ready right there for the deco talker, in case I wanna use the deco talker. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but it's whatever, man, honestly, it's there. Uh, but that's it for my link monsters, guys. I don't play for link monsters. I might up, uh, I might bring it up on the account, but um, for now, this is what I like playing. If you guys have any advice on how many or what I should change about the Link Monsters, guys, give me some advice. I really, I, I take all of this criticism in a positive, in a positive way, guys. Uh, and then, you know, the one Seraphonite, guys. That's it. Seraphonite is amazing. Like I said, it's my proxy, by the way. And then your two tokens because of Gofu. Tokens are mandatory uh, because of Gofu. <laughs> 
Uh, and then these are the new ones. This is the Kai ones, this is the Yugi uh, tin ones. I like these. These are very, very nice. I honestly think that the Kaiba one looks a lot better than the Yugi one, but that's just me. And All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, staying tuned with our deck profile, with my deck profile for the, my, my Twilight Swords. Uh I hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any opinions on what I should change, what I should add, um, go ahead and leave them below, man. I, I, like I said, I really like when you guys comment some, uh, some uh, good ideas. Just good ideas, guys. That's, that's all we're really looking for. Um, I think the UE community should grow as a team, should grow as one. So if you guys actually have good ideas for the team, good ideas for the, for the you know, deck profiles that we're doing, go ahead and let us know, guys. We, we take all of that into consideration. We look into it. If it works for us, it works for us. And if it doesn't, don't even worry about it, guys. Uh, everybody plays differently, so don't forget that you can't force somebody to play a certain way. And if somebody likes playing a certain way, then that's them. Honestly, uh, but guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll be uploading a lot more freaking deck profiles, and you guys are really gonna enjoy them. I have another, uh, I have another uh, deck profile coming out tonight. I hope you guys like it. It'll be a dark magician one. Yesterday we uploaded a blue eyes deck, chaos, a blue eyes chaos max deck. We uploaded an ABC true Draco, and then we also uploaded a chaos max. Um, BLS type of mix with it. Uh, you guys, you guys, we uploaded them yesterday, so hopefully you guys got get to see that. We also uploaded a couple of matches last night, so if you guys got to see those, uh, good, good shit, man. <laughs> if you got to see them, good shit. Uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. The information will be down below. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube. Follow me, the editor. My name is Ed, guys. I'm the editor of the channel, like I said. And follow me on Instagram, guys. I'll be accepting everybody who follows through. Uh, we're just trying to get the community to grow. We're just trying to get the channel to grow. Uh, and it's just, it's really just all about the community, guys, honestly. And I hope you guys liked it. I'll be at DNA on Mondays and hopefully at Gerard's on Fridays. If anywhere else, I'll try to be. Uh, but I work, guys. So if you guys don't see me around, you'll see the team. The team will be there. Appreciate you guys. Like I said, my name is Ed. And subscribe to the channel.